killing frenzy. That makes me cut. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and today I want to talk about Season 4 and the Xbox Game Showcase that's going to be coming up and what we can kind of glean from everything that we've learned about Season 4 that has been confirmed and what we can kind of look forward to in the future. I've seen a ton of people on Twitter saying that, you know, Season 4 is this huge relaunch now, and Season 4 is going to change the sentiment of how people look at Halo Infinite. And look, if you're a veteran of the channel, you've known for months and months and months that I thought that Season 4 is going to be the start of what Halo Infinite will be for the foreseeable future. It is the start of what real seasonality is going to look like. Season 3 was the foundation. I do not dispute that. But Season 4 going forward, I just really feel like is going to set expectations for what we can expect from Halo Infinite. That being said, if you love Halo content, if you like being on top of Halo news and whatnot, and like watching somebody that's not a shill and also not somebody that just whines the entire time about Halo, this is the place for you. I know 96% of you aren't sub to the channel who watch the videos. I don't know what you're doing, but I would love to hit 15k subs. This year, I think we can do it this month if you just hit that subscribe button. So let's get into the video. So like I said, there are many things we know that are coming for Season 4 that were confirmed by 343 during the HCS event this, or not this weekend, but the past weekend. And we've had a little bit of extra bits of info, you know, here and there. Maybe pointing to the Xbox showcase later this month as having something for Halo Infinite. But here's what we currently know that is coming. We're going to get three maps. That's Forest, which I'm not going to lie, I love how this map looks. I think we need more maps like this, not just UNSC stuff. Let me know in the comments if you're bored and tired of just military industrial UNSC map number 432. Scar, or I think it's called Engine in like the unofficial naming stuff for uh, 343, but Scar is a BTB map, and I also love how this map looks. And the remake of Plaza that was supposed to come in Season 3, but now we're definitely getting it this next upcoming season. We're going to see two new equipment items. Well, one is kind of just redone, but that's the Quantum Translocator and the Threat Seeker. The Threat Seeker just seems like a super buffed up version of the Threat Sensor. Uh, people are already complaining and stuff about it on Twitter and whatnot. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. I really don't think it's that big of a deal, um, to be completely honest. But the quant quantum, quant 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 quantum translocator looks pretty sick to me. I already have some, some thoughts, some plays in my head on how I want to use this device. I think it's very cool. I won't lie. People are also talking a ton of trash about the quantum translocator on Twitter and whatnot. People think that this stuff is going to ruin competitive. We'll see what happens. We're also getting the progression system or career progression system. I'm super happy that that's a thing. I'm excited to see if it will evolve as time goes on. They haven't really talked about, I guess, the rewards and whatnot, like what you get from leveling up. Uh, I guess we'll see when Season 4 comes, or maybe we'll see you know, at the Xbox Showcase if there's more info about that. But they better have stuff in there for people or else they're gonna be upset we're getting the game mode infection yes after you know kind of a couple years of waiting it's unfortunate but we're getting infection it looks pretty sick in my opinion i actually like the ai red aesthetic that they're going for i don't think everything has to deal with like the flood i know that's what infection was but i like this take on it you know maybe in the future they'll add a flood themed one who knows but I like it. You get the red sword too, so that's pretty cool. It's just, uh, I, it's technically not a new weapon model variant, but it's cool that you get the, the red sword. Of course, we're going to get the 100 tier battle pass and narrative event cinematics, and with that, we'll get event passes just like in the other seasons, so I'm excited for that, I guess. Something to grind out again. We're going to see forge improvements and cross-core coatings. They haven't confirmed any new vehicles so far, so we've been talking about the Falcon. I, nobody has explicitly said that we're getting new vehicles at all, or we aren't getting new vehicles. I would, I would think that maybe they would set expectations by saying there's no new vehicles, but who knows. And this is what's really interesting. We're going to get new weapon models for the BR and maybe the Bulldog and some promotional art. You see that the Bulldog does look different, but the new BR, I believe... Please don't crucify me on this, but the new BR model is only if you pay for one of the HCS bundles. I think that it looks like it's going to shoot a 
huge 50 cal bullet out of it. It's just massive looking and uh, looks like it's super strong. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Destiny 2 BXR that they added with how the weapon model actually looks. There's some few other things here and there, you know, just like map balance improvements and stuff like that. Um, that I, I think we're going to have to actually play to see if it's uh, a huge improvement to the game. But now, like I said before, the Xbox showcase is going to be later this month in June. And there's been some, you know, speculation on if we're going to see some type of Halo Infinite Season 4, you know, trailer. I think that we will because they didn't show it at the HCS event. I think we're going to see something Halo related at this Xbox showcase, I think it's very important that they utilize that platform. I I fully believe that this is like a relaunch of the game. So I think that that's an easy bit of marketing. I mean, you're not paying to have it shown and advertised on other platforms and whatnot. You're using the platform that you've pretty much created that you're going to be live streaming on for free to show off your new games and stuff and i feel like that's an easy way to get halo infinite back in people's minds maybe they'll re-download it they'll see all the improvements i think they should do like a you know recap of what's happened since you've last played when the game launched and so people can understand all the the updates and upgrades and blah 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 blah, blah. i think that that would be very smart of them to do but hopefully we get to see a lot of halo stuff at that showcase let me know in the comments down below what you expect to see from the Xbox showcase uh, in regards to Halo. It would be crazy if we didn't see anything. I know we had that one year where they were kind of radio silent. There was nothing for Halo Infinite. But with all the new leadership roles and, you know, all the changes that's happened, I believe that we should and will see stuff regarding Halo Infinite. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you around the ring. Peace!